What's up, Toosters? And two bets. Check it out, check it out, check it out. What we got going on today? We're working on the 63 T-Bird. And we chose a nice sand. We chose warm sand, <laughs> hot sand, and cool sand. And we did a nice contrast of uh, wet sand stitching. So we're doing this one back pretty clean, back original. Kinda OG, but still add a little bit of that stitch and Dean flame to it. So Puncho is doing the rear deck, the headliner, got the dash out. Dean been making the patterns, French seaming, and finna start covering these seats. So as you can see, we got a mall front scene, got pretty much all of the patterns made. That's the fronts. So we getting it together, man. We doing a nice um, smooth transition as far as color, color palette, man. This one is for a woman. So we don't want it looking like a guy's car. We want it to look nice and elegant fits her personality and her smile so we're gonna definitely give her something that she loves she likes and can be proud of so i'm gonna show y'all where we at on everything else this is actually the dash that came out of it so y'all can actually see what it looks like before we touch it i can't make some of this stuff up man I can't make some of this stuff up. So, of course, we're going to go with the sand color on the dash to kind of keep that glare off of the windshield if we was to do it that off-white. Kind of make it hard to see. So, we're going to do that sand up top and maybe bring the white down bottom. Either way, we're going to format it so it all plays off together. These are the rear panels. These are the rear panels. Like you say, I don't talk about nobody's work, but it's the reason why it's here. So we'll be cl cleaning and covering some of this stuff here, trying to get it clean as possible. Like I say, a 63 T-Bird. Nice and clean, real smooth. So we did an off-white inside to match the off-white top. It should all start playing together pretty good. Everything is pretty much stripped out of the car. Everything stripped out all the way down to the carpet, so... Y'all see exactly what we got to work with. We did four six by nines in the rear deck. Four six by nines in the rear deck. We'll run a nice little um little amp kit. Now he got two P3s sub wise. Once we do all that, you know we'll flush the trunk all off make it look nice and neat so you see they just sent us pieces with no clips all of the chrome with no clips uh, I guess I supposed to hot glue it all together but hey I guess we'll figure it out before it's too late what's needed and what's not What all works and what don't, I'm absolutely not sure. We didn't take the car apart. We're just trying to put it back together as best as possible. Our main focus is the interior. That's our main focus point. 
but we did have to use uh, two horsepower. It was between me and Roundhead, so. But he clean. You see, you got them, them ooches on there. It's gonna be clean. Like I say, man, it's a female on, so. Mom dupes. Oh, T-Bird. Yeah, I'll get a good look at We're going to call this one the Blue Robin or the Blue Bird. We're going to call this one the Blue Bird. I like the Blue Bird. It's a clean car, man. Very odd, very unique. I like some of the features that they used as far as the chrome that comes down. And it's actually a handle here to hold and opens the door. Very smooth design, how they used, uh, took a piece of the chrome and added that trim on there. Very smooth. I think them a set of 24s that's on here, so. We was gonna add some blue on the interior, but I want to keep it, um, I want to keep a separate color pattern, palette on the inside where it stays smooth and clean, elegant. I'm gonna show you what I mean by elegant in a minute. So that's pretty much where we at on this T-Bird, man. Puncho is making the rear deck. Uh, like I say, my boy Sting Ding is definitely um, stitching them together. And as you can see, it's taking him no time. Y'all see how that white is playing off? That white is definitely playing off. Uh, we didn't use the white stitches to avoid it from getting so dirty while we got it. Now, they can dirty up when they get it. But while we got it, we ain't trying to be redoing nothing. <laughs> this is what, the back seat? Yeah, very bottom of the back seat. This is the rear bottom seat. So we'll be pulling some of the old covers off. And um, they went over the top of the old stuff for some odd reason. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but we'll figure it out. Like I say, that was the original pattern. They just went over some of the old stuff. We definitely don't recommend that way. Definitely take it off. Put some foam on it if it needs it. And um, rock it from there. Let's see, Puncho. Ooh so now we need one more insert. The white. One more? Yeah, I think one more. Really? It's smooth. You got it, man. My boy Puncho <laughs> always working, man. Like I said, that'll cover the four six by nines in the back, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video, man. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, man. Show your boy some love. And I'm gonna be back in a minute. How similar what is it? The mic? Uh huh. And that'll be in the uh, blocker. Yes, blanco. The seat. Mm hmm. That'll add that little touch to it, what we need on the inside. But that looks great. Good job, Puncho. What's the white? Mm hmm. You got the piece that you cut out? Yes, a little, yeah. The wood? Yeah. So we're using less white to keep a lot of that glare down on that inside in a minute. 